Peace to all of you who truly love Jesus Christ. Today I want to address a very important question. Do you know Jesus Christ or do you know of him? There are many people today who believe that they know Jesus because they know of him. They've heard uh, all about them. They, they go to churches. They uh, read the Bible. But it's just like if I were to uh, buy a documentary of someone and I was to read it. And in the documentary, it tells me uh, where they were born, where they grew up, breaks down their life where you know i can see uh all of these things that they went through and even if someone were to ask me about them i could say yeah i know this person and, and they say well prove it and i could tell them all about their life break their life down and, and uh tell uh funny stories uh about this person because i read their documentary. I, I, I know about that person. I know of that person. But I don't have a personal relationship with that person. I have not sat down with that person and gotten to know the heart of that person. This is uh, what most people are doing today uh, with Jesus Christ. They know of him. They've read the scriptures. They go to church. They sing songs. But they have not sat down with Jesus Christ. They have not, uh, they have not uh, gained an intimacy with him through prayer, through seeking his face daily. Most people will not allow Jesus Christ to reign over their lives. They won't submit to him. They don't submit to his word to obey it, to, to fear it, to let it guide their lives. They are still leaning to their own understanding. And the Bible says that uh, those who do not keep the commandments of God do not know him. And this is a scary thing because Jesus said that there are going to be many who cry, Lord, Lord, on that day. And they'll profess to him all of the things that they've done in his name. These are going to be people who believed that they knew Jesus Christ. And that's a terrible thing uh, is to believe that you know him and don't truly know him to believe that you are walking in his his ways when actually you are deceived and walking in darkness and blind and naked so what 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 I the, the reason for me to uh post this video today is because I want you to examine and be sure that you are not a fan, just, you know, merely a fan of Jesus Christ. You know, someone who admires him, who wants to uh, get close to him, but truly has not yet. You, you must become a son or a daughter of Christ. You cannot merely be a fan, someone who looks up to him, but is not willing to give him your life, who is not willing to forsake all that you have to follow him, not willing to deny yourself to take up your cross and suffer with him. See, it's not enough to be an admirer of Jesus Christ. It's not enough to be his fan. You must follow him. You must give all that you have to him. Be blessed.